Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, every male, one by one, from twenty years old and upward, all who are able to go out to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall number them by their divisions. With you there shall be a man of every tribe, everyone head of his father's house. These are the names of the men who shall stand with you, of Reuben, Elizer, the son of Shedeur, of Simeon, Shalumiel, the son of Zurishaddai, of Judah, Nashon, the son of Amenadab, of Issachar, Nethanel, the son of Zuar, of Zebulun, Eliab, the son of Helen, of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishama, the son of Amihud, of Manasseh, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazer, of Benjamin, Abidon, the son of Gideoni, of Dan, Ahiezer, the son of Amishaddai, of Asher, Pagiel, the son of Okran, of Gad, Eliasaph, the son of Duel, of Naphtali, Ahira, the son of Enon. These are those who were called of the congregation, the princes of the tribes of their fathers. They were the heads of the thousands of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men who are mentioned by name. They assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their ancestry by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, one by one. As Yahweh commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. The children of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war. Those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Reuben, were forty-six thousand five hundred. Of the children of Simeon, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, those who were numbered of it according to the number of the names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Simeon, were fifty-nine thousand three hundred. Of the children of Gad, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, 
those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Gad, were 45,650. Of the children of Judah, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Judah, were sixty-four thousand six hundred. Of the children of Issachar, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Issachar, were fifty-four thousand four hundred. Of the children of Zebulun, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Zebulun, were 57,400. Of the children of Joseph, of the children of Ephraim, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Ephraim, were forty thousand five hundred. Of the children of Manasseh, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Manasseh, were thirty-two thousand two hundred. Of the children of Benjamin, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty-five thousand four hundred. Of the children of Dan, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Dan, were sixty-two thousand seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Asher, were forty-one thousand five hundred. Of the children of Naphtali, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were numbered of them, of the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty-three thousand four hundred. These are those who were numbered, whom Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel, being twelve men. They were each one for his father's house. So all those who were numbered of the children of Israel by their father's houses, 
from 20 years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war in Israel, even all those who were numbered, were 603,550. But the Levites, after the tribe of their fathers, were not numbered among them. For Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Only the tribe of Levi you shall not number, neither shall you take a census of them among the children of Israel. But appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, and over all its furnishings, and over all that belongs to it. They shall carry the tabernacle, and all its furnishings, and they shall take care of it, and shall encamp around it. When the tabernacle is to move, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall set it up. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. The children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard, according to their divisions. But the Levites shall encamp around the tabernacle of the testimony, that there may be no wrath on the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall be responsible for the tabernacle of the testimony. Thus the children of Israel did. According to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so they did. Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, the children of Israel shall encamp every man by his own standard with the banners of their fathers' houses. At a distance from the tent of meeting shall they encamp around it. Those who encamp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the standard of the camp of Judah according to their divisions. And the prince of the children of Judah shall be Nashon, the son of Amenadab. His division, and those who were numbered of them, were 74,600. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar. And the prince of the children of Issachar shall be Nethanel the son of Zuar. His division, and those who were numbered of it, were 54,400. The tribe of Zebulun, and the prince of the children of Zebulun, shall be Eliab, the son of Helon. His division, and those who were numbered of it, were 57,400. All who were numbered of the camp of Judah were 186,400, according to their divisions. They shall set out first. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben, according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Reuben shall be Elizer, the son of Shideur, his division, and those who were numbered of it, were 46,500. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon. The prince of the children of Simeon shall be Shalumiel, the son of Zurishaddai. His division, and those who were numbered of them, were 59,300. The tribe of Gad, and the prince of the children of Gad, shall be Eliasaph, the son of Ruel. 
his division and those who were numbered of them were 45,650. All who were numbered of the camp of Reuben were 151,450, according to their armies. They shall set out second. Then the tent of meeting shall set out with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camps. As they encamp, so shall they set out, every man in his place by their standards. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim, according to their divisions. And the prince of the children of Ephraim shall be Elishama, the son of Amihud. His division and those who were numbered of them were 40,500. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, and the prince of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, the son of Pedazer. His division and those who were numbered of them were 32,200. The tribe of Benjamin, and the prince of the children of Benjamin shall be Abidon, the son of Gideoni. His army and those who were numbered of them were 35,400. All who were numbered of the camp of Ephraim were 108,100, according to their divisions. They shall set out third. On the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Dan, according to their divisions. And the prince of the children of Dan shall be Ahiezer, the son of Amishaddai. His division and those who were numbered of them were 62,700. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher, and the prince of the children of Asher shall be Pagiel, the son of Akran. His division and those who were numbered of them were 41,500. The tribe of Naphtali, and the prince of the children of Naphtali shall be Ahira, the son of Enan. His division and those who were numbered of them were 53,400. All who were numbered of the camp of Dan were 157,600. They shall set out last by their standards. These are those who were numbered of the children of Israel by their fathers' houses. All who were numbered of the camps according to their armies were 603,550. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Thus the children of Israel did. According to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so they encamped by their standards, and so they set out, everyone by their families, according to their fathers' houses. Now this is the history of the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that Yahweh spoke with Moses in Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests who were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. Nadab and Abihu died before Yahweh when they offered strange fire before Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the presence of Aaron their father. 
Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister to him. They shall keep his requirements, and the requirements of the whole congregation before the tent of meeting, to do the service of the tabernacle. They shall keep all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, and the obligations of the children of Israel, to do the service of the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly given to him on the behalf of the children of Israel. You shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall keep their priesthood. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn who opened the womb among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. For all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I made holy to me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and animal. They shall be mine. I am Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Count the children of Levi by their fathers' houses, by their families. You shall count every male from a month old and upward. Moses numbered them according to the word of Yahweh, as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, and Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni, and Shimei. The sons of Kohath by their families, Amram, and Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel the sons of Merari by their families, Malai and Mushai. These are the families of the Levites, according to their fathers' houses. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shimeites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those who were numbered of them according to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, even those who were numbered of them were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites shall encamp behind the tabernacle westward. The prince of the father's house of the Gershonites shall be Eliasaph, the son of Lael, the duty of the sons of Gershon in the tent of meeting shall be the tabernacle and the tent, its covering, and the screen for the door of the tent of meeting, and the hangings of the court, and the screen for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and around the altar, and its cords for all of its service. Of Kohath was the family of the Amramites, and the family of the Isharites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzielites. These are the families of the Kohathites. According to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, there were 8,600, keeping the requirements of the sanctuary. 
the families of the sons of Kohath shall encamp on the south side of the tabernacle. The prince of the father's house of the families of the Kohathites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. Their duty shall be the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary with which they minister, and the screen, and all its service. Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, shall be prince of the princes of the Levites, with the oversight of those who keep the requirements of the sanctuary. Of Merari was the family of the Malites, and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Merari. Those who were numbered of them, according to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, were six thousand two hundred. The prince of the father's house of the families of Merari was Zuriel, the son of Abihel. They shall encamp on the north side of the tabernacle. The appointed duty of the sons of Merari shall be the tabernacle's boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, all its instruments, all its service. The pillars of the court around it, their sockets, their pins, and their cords. Those who encamp before the tabernacle eastward, in front of the tent of meeting toward the sunrise, shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the requirements of the sanctuary for the duty of the children of Israel. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of Yahweh, by their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were twenty-two thousand. Yahweh said to Moses, Number all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. You shall take the Levites for me. I am Yahweh, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel and the livestock of the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the livestock of the children of Israel. Moses numbered, as Yahweh commanded him, all the firstborn among the children of Israel. All the firstborn males, according to the number of names, from a month old and upward, of those who were numbered of them, were 22,273. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites instead of their livestock, and the Levites shall be mine. I am Yahweh for the redemption of the two hundred seventy-three of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who exceed the number of the Levites. You shall take five shekels apiece for each one. After the shekel of the sanctuary, you shall take them. The shekel is twenty geras. And you shall give the money with which the remainder of them is redeemed to Aaron and to his sons. Moses took the redemption money from those who exceeded the number of those who were redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the children of Israel, he took the money, 1,365 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and to his sons, according to the word of Yahweh, 
as Yahweh commanded Moses. Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Take a census of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi, by their families, by their fathers' houses, from thirty years old and upward, even until fifty years old, all who enter into the service to do the work in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the sons of Kohath in the tent of meeting, the most holy things. When the camp moves forward, Aaron shall go in and his sons, and they shall take down the veil of the screen and cover the ark of the testimony with it and shall put a covering of sealskin on it, and shall spread over it a cloth all of blue, and shall put in its poles. On the table of showbread they shall spread a blue cloth, and put on it the dishes, the spoons, the bowls, and the cups with which to pour out and the continual bread shall be on it. They shall spread on them a scarlet cloth, and cover the same with a covering of sealskin, and shall put in its poles. They shall take a blue cloth, and cover the lampstand of the light, and its lamps, and its snuffers, and its snuff dishes, and all its oil vessels, with which they minister to it. They shall put it and all its vessels within a covering of sealskin, and shall put it on the frame. On the golden altar they shall spread a blue cloth, and cover it with a covering of sealskin, and shall put in its poles. They shall take all the vessels of ministry with which they minister in the sanctuary, and put them in a blue cloth, and cover them with a covering of sealskin, and shall put them on the frame. They shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread a purple cloth on it. They shall put on it all its vessels, with which they minister about it, the firepans, the flesh hooks, the shovels, and the basins, all the vessels of the altar, and they shall spread on it a covering of sealskin, and put in its poles. When Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary, and all the furniture of the sanctuary, as the camp moves forward, after that, the sons of Kohath shall come to carry it. But they shall not touch the sanctuary, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Kohath in the tent of meeting. The duty of Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest shall be the oil for the light, the sweet incense, the continual meal offering, and the anointing oil, the requirements of all the tabernacle, and of all that is in it, the sanctuary and its furnishings. Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Don't cut off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but thus do to them, that they may live and not die, when they approach to the most holy things. Aaron and his sons shall go in, and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden. But they shall not go in to see the sanctuary, even for a moment, 
lest they die.